What's going on YouTube? Official Keith here. And today we have another collaboration video. And this time we're going to talk about the cameras that we use on our channels. Now, as you can see on the screen, I have the Canon T6. This camera is a very nice camera to get into as far as it being your very first DSLR without necessarily breaking the bank. Adding the lens to the body of the camera is very simple. Just take the cover off the body of the camera and then you'll need to take the protective cover off the bottom part of the lens and just match up the little square white dots. And when you turn to the right, you'll have a nice click, snug feel. And then with the, uh, the caps, you can actually screw them together and they make for easy storage. So it's a pretty good idea that they have there with Canon cameras. Not sure if any other camera does this, but this is pretty awesome. The screen on the back of the camera is very easy to read. You can go through all of the different modes. Um, you can see what mode is for what, and it gives you a small description of what you would use that for. So this is very good for beginners such as myself. You can hit on that display button and it'll, it'll give you some more uh, useful information. And then I just like how they have these uh, buttons placed. You hit that menu button and then you can pretty much go through everything in the phone. And I will reiterate the sentiment with all YouTubers that use DSLRs. Put that bad boy in manual mode so you can have complete power um, over your shooting. The camera has a built-in flash, which is nice, but it also gives you the option to use an external flash by mounting the flash itself on the hot shoe. Also, you can do the same thing with a, a light, like an LED light, once you start shooting the video. Again, this is the Canon T6. I would highly recommend this camera to anyone's first time experience in DSLR. It's very easy to operate, very easy to hold, and I would say within a matter of, of a week or two, you at least have the basics down to where you know what you're doing. And at that point, um, it's just a matter of practicing with it and it's getting better and better as you go. Now, I told you this was a collaboration video. And here are my friends to let y'all know what they use on their channels. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Dio Toro, coming to you today on this camera collab video. And I'm going to briefly discuss my camera of choice, which is the Sony FDR AX33 Handycam. Also, joining me for the first time ever on a YouTube video, my lovely girlfriend. <laughs> She's going to briefly discuss her camera of choice, which is the GoPro Hero 5 Black. So my girlfriend was looking more for a good action camera, something she can use when she's snorkeling or when she's hiking up a mountain or through forests and whatnot. I was looking more for a camera that was more for live streaming and doing YouTube videos, but that also did have the ability to take steel frame photos if I wanted to. So without further ado, let's each get into our respective cameras. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, I am the proud owner of the Sony FDR AX33 Handycam. Now, originally I was looking for a steel frame camera that had the ability to do videos and live streaming. However, the more I talked it over with my girlfriend, the more I realized, you know, I don't really do a whole lot of steel frame pictures. So it made more sense for me to get a camera that was more dedicated just for live streaming and doing videos that had the ability to do steel frame pictures if I wanted to, than something that was more for steel frame pictures that could stream. And that's exactly what this thing is. And I cannot be happier with this Sony camcorder. It's completely customizable. I mean, the frames per second, the shutter speed, to the video quality, I absolutely love this thing. Now admittedly, some of those options are pretty hard to find, so you really have to dig in and learn this camera. But once you do, you will not be disappointed. I mean, my video and sound quality went from this to this. And I haven't even done a real live stream with this yet. I'm very excited. So that's why I decided to go with the camcorder versus the steel frame camera. And I am very, very happy with this thing. So. Babe, why don't you go ahead and tell us how you feel about your GoPro. Hi, I'm Will, and I got the GoPro Hero 5. Now, unlike steel, I wanted a camera that could do still shots as well as activity videos, like hiking and biking. But I wanted it to have a good battery life. That was important for me. That is why I got the GoPro. Now, this thing is completely waterproof. You can use it in the swimming pool, in the hot tub, and even in the sauna. Battery life, I found, is okay. We went on a long walk. 
walk over an hour, catch it on the entire time, took some videos in 1080p, and then when the walk was over, I had 45% battery life and 13 videos. She wasn't bad. So I'm actually pretty happy with the GoPro. The battery life could be better, but it does get the job done. So that's it for me and the GoPro. So, who's next? Welcome to my dungeon. Let me show you what I'm working with. So for my primary camera, I actually use a Canon SL2 24 megapixel sensor, uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. I uh, also have that paired up with a Rode mic, and I also have a, a newer light. I believe you get uh, at least 800 lumen, lumens. It's pretty for those close-ups and things like that, so that's what I use for that. You also have the uh, flip out screen so that you can actually look at yourself. Pretty good for vlogging. Uh, this one also has, once again, it's a dedicated mic. So I have the Rode mic hooked up to this. Uh, then I also have it sitting on a, this is a generic 65 inch tripod. I actually bought it from Target. So actually 66 inch tripod. So if I'm standing up, I can actually do a video uh, with me standing up or sitting down. So. Uh, next, I'll be taking a look at my secondary camera setup. So uh, hang on a second here while I look at that. And this is my C stand that I use to have my secondary camera posted up. So I have no idea how tall this thing is, but it's tall enough to the point where this is where everything hangs out here. So this is all of these little devices here are all kind of separate like the C stand I bought by itself but the um, I forgot what you call this part here the little connector piece here that bought that from B&H photo uh, all of this was actually specified by Kevin the Tech Ninja and uh, my camera would actually go here my second camera which is my Sony DV100 sorry Sony RX100 camera I uh, would actually clip on there and I have that for my shots where I'm actually you know doing unboxings and things like that uh, so yeah that's pretty much uh, my setup there I don't have that camera on me but I'll have some b-roll for uh, that Sony RX100 Mark III and uh, that's pretty much my setup so I uh, appreciate everything Keith on to the next one what's good folks it's your boy Dookie I want to give a big shout out to the official one that's right official keith in texas or official keith it you know what it is man i appreciate you for letting me get up on this collab today i'm talking about my camera that i use for my bang videos which is the legendary panasonic gh3 now i know before we go any further that this camera is super old it is about using what you have to get what you want dang that's not like players club you just use what you got to get what you want <laughs> but no, it's about making it work. It's about finding, you know, when you talk about cameras, people always want to go for the latest and the greatest, the best specs and all of that. But I promise you, I promise you, you can take what you have if you learn how to use it right and make it look really good and make your videos look great and really get some good quality. Now, the reason I like the Panasonic GH3 and I haven't really been pressed to upgrade from it, only reason I would really want to upgrade from this camera is for 4K because this camera doesn't have 4K. So, you know, I could get something like a Panasonic GH4 or something like the Panasonic G7 or something like the Sony A6500 or 6300 if I really wanted to make my channel 4K. But I actually do love this camera because for 1080p, I can shoot at 60 frames per second, get that nice slow motion. Being that it's micro four thirds, I can adapt a variety of lenses to it. I have some native lenses. I have some Canon lenses. I have lenses from all different types that you can get an adapter and place on this camera so you can get the look that you want. Also, one of the things I love about this camera, and I, I mean, I really do, is the battery life. Uh, I could use one of these batteries for multiple videos. Like I could go out on a shoot and shoot a whole day on one 
battery. So battery life on this camera is super fire. Other things I like about this camera, it has a mic input, which is good. So I can use a variety of on-camera microphones or booms if I need to. It also has app support. So I can hook it up to my phone and use my phone to control it if I need to, if I'm out in the field. And it has a variety of other great features that for me, making these videos, it really helps it out, makes it easy. If you're interested in this camera, you can pick one up pretty cheap secondhand on, you know, eBay or sites like that. I mean, you can probably get one for a couple hundred dollars at that. Well, I'm gonna get up out of here. Shout out to everybody on the collab. It's your kid folk, Dookie. Holla at your boy.